so thanks, Sharon, for joining me today. I really appreciate you and your time. And uh, so just quickly, um, Sharon, you've been with us since 2013 and licensed since 05. That's correct? That's correct, yes. Awesome. And uh, you're a REMAX Hall of Famer and typically our high 100% club, platinum team club, uh, pretty much uh, producer. Is that pretty accurate? Yeah, more or less. Awesome. That's great. Um, and so uh, today we're going to share a little bit of insights on um, staying consistent with your business, prospecting, and uh, in, in developing business. Yeah, you have some some uh, some insights to to share. Yes, I think so. Great. What uh, what do you got for me? Okay, so first of all, we've all been through a very stressful year with COVID-19. I don't know about the rest of the realtors, but when everything started to change in March, I panicked. Mm -hmm. I panicked. And I felt that everything was spiraling out of control. So I made a decision that the only thing I control is my time management, how I navigate through my day. That's the only thing I can control. Wonderful. So I made a switch in how I manage my time in March. And as a result of that, I uh, achieved some very high closings in June. I think I got number two status in June in our brokerage. Incredible. But that was yeah. because of the work that I did in March and April. And I wanted to share with the agents the shift that I made. And I think that it's going to uh, help me to achieve higher levels and it could help other people as well. Great. No, that's, no, that's super. And, and I love that, like specifically deciding I'm not going to accept this great pause and I'm going to load the cannon for, for future business. If it's, you know, you weren't forcing people to make a move, but you were doing the right things to, to set the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So it, you know, it, it, it really, uh, when I made the decision that no matter what happens in my day, I think we were all waking up every day with unknown factors, more and more unknown factors. So I decided that no matter what happens in my day, two hours is going to be in my control. Great. And for two hours a day, I'm going to prospect no matter what. And I had my mother passing away. I was protesting the government. I was in the media under enormous stress. But I said, no matter what happens today, two hours of my day is going to be with prospects. No excuses. No, no excuses. And let me ask you a quick question. Did you ever miss a day? Well, what I found out was that I can handle five days a week yeah. with two hours of prospecting, but I, I couldn't handle seven days a week or six days a week. So right. I found my comfort zone and I think that it's different for everybody. Perfect. You know, how much can you take? Because prospecting is like running a marathon. You know, you can only take so much and it's physically uh, difficult. Uh, it's mentally difficult, emotionally challenging, but the rewards are massive after you finish that marathon. So I felt like in June, uh, you know, when, when I reached number two, and that was the first time in my career I did that, Great. that was the huge reward for finishing my marathon in March and April. Great. And, the, uh, and so I love that you have that non-negotiable for your business. It's super. Um, so when you're doing prospecting, what does that look like? Who okay, so first of all, yeah, so prospecting is different for everybody. What I would mm -hmm. recommend is find something that you enjoy doing with prospecting or you feel that you can get good results. So my, my first uh, tip would be experiment with prospecting. Uh, don't be afraid to take risks and hit it hard for two hours. No excuses, no matter how many no's you get. You go two hours with one idea. Yeah. And then at the end of that two hours, sit back and evaluate how you did. Like, what is the likelihood that what you did in that two hours is going to translate into some kind of win for you in the future? And when you're doing that calculation, remember that small wins sometimes equal big gains. So it doesn't have to be like, well, I'm only going to get a $2,000 reward from my two hours of work rather than 8500 so small wins can equal big gains. Maybe you were able to find somebody who wants a free evaluation on their house and you don't know if that's going to translate into a commission check. But I think what you need to realize is to congratulate yourself because through a concentrated effort, you managed to get a small, small step forward. 
and eventually what you'll find is those small steps can result in, in big commissions if you keep it up. So from, from there, I would recommend that the agents find what I called flashpoints. It's like, okay, I just did two hours. Are there any small fires burning out there? And then pay attention to those small fires because maybe you can throw some fuel on those fires and ignite them. You might that. find that there was one customer group you reached, one dialogue you used that resulted in a small little flashpoint. So now you want to say, okay, so for tomorrow, can I focus on that target market, on that strategy with more intensity and try to build that into a, a bigger flame. So my second tip would be concentrate on your prospecting. In tip one, experiment, find the flashpoints. And then in tip two, when you find those flashpoints, you concentrate on those very intensely. And, and I find for myself, if I concentrate for two hours on a flashpoint in a, in a day, uh, the, that's going to start to really ignite some business. Once you figure that out, then the third tip is execution. I think we all have good intentions, but I, I find that with myself and what I observe from other people, they don't execute. They don't execute on the ideas. So yeah. we know what we have to do, but we don't <laughs> do it. Right? Yeah. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. It's easier not to, right? Yeah, so yeah. And, and now there's so many excuses. There's so many reasons not to. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you know, not me, but, you know, maybe, oh, I'm getting divorced. Oh, my wife is leaving me. Oh, my, me, my case, my mother's dying. Right. So many excuses. Oh, I'm running out of savings. Oh, no open houses. Like, what yeah. a negative spiral down. Absolutely. And I think a person owes their self, the person has the responsibility to stop that thinking and mm -hmm. to turn it around and take control, take control of the situation. And I think by just giving it a go every day, two hours, and you watch and observe, and then you can navigate and, and be, sure, be sure to execute. So one thing I, I noticed, I started to get super, super busy yeah. with this method. And then my time started to get out of my control. So what I learned to do was to chunk my day in three hour increments. And I figured out what three hours are my most productive for prospecting. I call those my sacred hours. Okay. Nothing yeah. interferes with yeah. my, my three hours of prospecting, nothing. No family, no nothing, no medical, nothing. And then for the rest of the day, I try to figure out the low points is, which is, is when I do my paperwork and Brandy, yeah. <laughs> Brandy will vouch for that <laughs> on my... <laughs> On my low points of the day, when there's no clients answering the phone, that's when I do the paperwork. Good. And and so I number one, the sacred hours is is the the prospecting, and then you figure the rest out. Where does the family come in? Where does my fitness regime come in? Where does my paperwork come in? So everything revolves in this critical economy yeah. on increasing one's income, and that should be number one right now. Because when you're successful you know, financially, then you're going to be helping your family. You're going to be right. helping your health. You're going to be helping everyone around you. Yeah. Thriving in your business does help to solve a lot of, a lot of problems. Right. And yeah, uh, yeah. money, money, money works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> money works. I love that. Yeah. So yeah, I thought um, a few key points out of that was that consistency, right. And that dedication yeah. Yeah. Um, that, uh, Darren Hardy talks about the compound effect, right? So you're doing those small bites every single day jumping, and it yeah. yields huge results huge. Over, over the long term. Love that. Those are some really, really great tips on being consistent with your, with your prospecting and, and really driving, taking the driver's seat on your business. Love that. Thanks so much for sharing. My pleasure. Awesome. Have an amazing day, Sharon. Thank you, you too. Okay, we'll chat soon. All right, bye.